free for all. Whoever wants to uh, mm -hmm. say whatever they thought. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought it was a great show. Uh, I loved the playing off of the Money in the Bank CM Punk thing with Hangman and Page, and obviously with Page's history of Punk <laughs> bringing that all in. That was a great way to potentially write off Adam Page and like the whole him taking over the show to finally get his shot and Punk had no chance. like I was like why would Punk give him this shot but it was with the stipulation that it would be fine and then of course he screws him over the booking of the of the main event was fantastic I thought it was really well pulled off it was very WWE high drama main event it was seamlessly edited and pulled off well with the ref bump and the Punk coming out was, and all that but it was really, really I, just, well I just want to I just want to say uh yeah, WWE made that a lot harder to pull off because originally it was just going to be Punk comes in, fast count, what do we... And then they did and that. Him and, Cena, him and Cena run off into the into the night like thieves. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but... Uh, uh, so you made me work a little bit to get to this ending, but... Uh, yeah, it, it, it really worked as a, as a good uh, main event. Did not expect to see the Hardys become the tag champs. Um, yeah. That was surprising. I thought that the... The run with Eddie and Dom was going to carry on, but of course now we find out why, because Eddie's now going for the Intercontinental Championship instead. Yeah. Um, so much for champions versus champions at Forbidden Door. Yeah. I, there's still a lot of time between... Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> I, I really, I really like the story with Trish and... Uh, turning on the Glam and Glow collection, and then, uh, turning, and then obviously now she is uh, seemingly... Uh, really gone full born heel um mm -hmm. yeah. you know she was already yeah. showing sort of heelish tendencies in the promo was leading up now she's gone full heel and it's beating down uh Bianca Belair to set up for a dream match there between those two that's that's cool good stuff up and down the card great uh just a great show on its own but also a great build to SummerSlam and really did some great job with the stories to build to that event so overall just yeah fantastic show for me I uh I I thought for a second you were going to put the IC title on Logan because I thought um <laughs> I thought um there's something about him doing the whole uh doing like the the whole Trumpism oh, the, stuff. The, the Trumpism with the with, belt, with the belt, you know. And I do love that you're doing it against Canada because then it makes it so it's not so politically charged. Because like you could do the Trumpisms, but without it being like too close to the bone. Like at least it, with it being against Canada, it's like you know, it, it's kind of like with South. Park I feel like that makes it more. It's yeah. more fun. It's like it's like the Bret Hart thing. Yeah. So, I also, it, I also, yeah. I also thought for a second you were going to put the title on Hangman and then. Ripley come out, cash in. A woman, a woman as WWF champion. WTF? How do we deal with this? This is a problem. You know, like how do we deal? You know, like as big a problem as Hangman potentially walking off into the sunset to one of the other brands with the title could have been a woman as world champion. WTF? How do we deal with this? <laughs> you know would have been could, could have been quite interesting that that's where i thought that's where I, especially with all the you know i i thought punk punk gets involved still fucks it up um yeah. is is there at ringside like uh vkm was and johnny ace was um oh fuck get 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 rear ripley out here quickly to, to do something Look, you know, thinking I've got to save my job at this point. I'll do anything, you know. And then he, then, <laughs> then, then, then you've got Raw with like, shit. I've got a woman as the as a title that she's not really eligible for. <laughs> like, you know, well, that man. that could have been it. That that was something I thought. You know, I mean, you're going to have that problem eventually because assumedly she's going to cash in on a bloke. Well, <laughs> she could use it for the women. There's no reason she couldn't. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know what what. Um, you guys shored up the rules of Money in the Bank. That is specifically the men's Money in the um, Bank title. It's, it's well, it's it's. You rule. guys shored it up. Also, you, you're not allowed. You're not well, allowed to win the AEW title anymore. She's not allowed to cash it in on you or on other companies. Or but, yeah, because you'll cash it in on the women, which are within mm, the same I, company. I can make whatever also, rules I want for the briefcase. And also, there, were, there was no women's this year, so yeah. like there was no um, option for her to. Do you want my yeah. my opinion, guys? Like on this, um, I really, really, I really did enjoy the whole show. Um, there was lots of ups and like plenty of um, fun moments and 
like holy you know what moments that unfolded like I gotta say the tar matches were very good. I thought that the um I think to me the shocking moment for me, um this might surprise you by the way, JJ. I felt like that that the Hardy Boys becoming tag team champions on that night was probably the most shocking tile turn of the whole evening. Oh, I, I figured that would surprise people. That was, that was really great. I believe that, that was a good way of bringing them back and now they've become a thirteen time tag team champions, which is a good one for him so that was very good i didn't see that coming so that was good good decisioning on your part and um you know um and i have to say hangman page really beat the absolute crap out of john Cena. like no one ever did since cody did and he was blowed up as well so Cena did her no one could accuse you of burying hangman on the way out you had him come out strong because like he was the he got the yeah. visual pinfall <laughs> he, beat, he had yeah. seen a beat for a few yeah years. like he, he, like, he, he comes he out looking very strong the like like you didn't bury him on the way out he he looks like he should be the wf champion right now on the way out you know like it was almost like it was like i could say if the story time was brilliant but Indeed. all i was gonna try and say was in the match that's why we lost track of it i was gonna say like hangman and cena never fought before this could be seems never doesn't know what Hangman's made of, so I felt like this could be like you know the closest we'll ever get to see him lose since Nakamura he did it. So I thought that was really good, and uh, again you made Hangman more than capable of being a world heavyweight champion. But it depends what will happen now because the draft's coming up very soon, so we don't know what well, happens one, now. Whatever happens with Hangman, that certainly was the plan to yeah the fate to the, the, the look, Hangman's fate look is like in the hands of the draft. I mean, like I said before, and um, and um, oh. yeah, the tag, women's tag match was really good. Trish's heel turn, I kind of saw it happening, but this I didn't see coming. Like I was just walking away, didn't see that happening. I thought Me she'd here. like go in. I thought it was going to go and attack and you know like knock her out or whatever. But walking away that way, that was didn't see that happening. When you made rip the. Uh, uh, Bianca Belair more dominant. She's basically having her matches even more shorter than ever now, looking much more dominant as ever. So that's really good. And um, uh, the rest of the matches were very good. But um, I've got to say, um, the most chaotic, if not the most hilarious one of it, was the Fatal Four Way with Chris Jericho, Logan Paul, I Shawn Michaels, and Sami Zayn. That was. That, I was just saying, say, match of the night has to go to them for it's a story that and was the main told. event. I mean, we kind of and the main we, event, kind, yeah. we kind of got carried away on commentary and made it. And it we like, yeah, but, but it uh, was really good though. But it, like it, I made, said, it though. made it a lot of fun. I'm sure it'd be fun to listen back to. Yeah, despite the fact there were so many guitars blowing up in the match, which was quite funnier. Um, but I gotta say, say JJ, you really brought the best out of us tonight with the commentary. I mean. Chris Jericho looking more reinvented. I was thinking, yeah, he's coming out to Walls of Jericho, so I thought something's going on with him. And Shawn Michaels looking very good with a new-looking new style of bells. And Sami Zayn being the underdog coming so close to winning that title. So I could see the story you were doing. So I felt like you may be pushing him because obviously it wouldn't have mattered if Michaels or Sami got the, got the win because I could see what you're trying to do. But with Logan Paul being the American prick that he was, Carrying a stupid American flag that didn't look real and having a cap on with someone we should never have mentioned, otherwise, I wouldn't have been triggered off like I did. But it worked anyway for my classic heel turn going on. But it still worked. I mean, you, everything you do most makes sense. Most babyface person on any of these yeah. calls, you are not look, a I, heel. Look, I know Tom didn't like that. I know, Bradley, you, you may have gone a little bit, so I don't take it too personal, man. I was just screwing around having some fun. No, you, you, you don't know what a heel is, do you? You don't know what a I heel is. I know it. It's a bad guy. It's a bad guy, I know. I wanted to, chip, to, I wanted to jump in with something a second and just say, WTF is going on with Imperium? Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. That that's, was... That's, I think JJ's dropping, a, I think JJ's dropping, JJ's dropping them to, to replace their slots, yeah. maybe. <laughs> yeah, quite possibly, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we could, well, we new, 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 we new could European new wrestler, after the draft. New, new European wrestlers coming in, I think. It looks That's what I was like. going to say. If, if, if Walter's done with those guys, who's he going to have to make a new Imperial? Maybe he doesn't need anybody. Maybe he's on his own. I love your refusal, to call, his him, his I love your refusal to call him Gunther. I just call him by his NXT name. He was much better. He was more <laughs> over back then, man. Moreover, he was a two-year was more continental over. champion. He was more over when he was wrestling in front of two people. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just referring to the fact like what he was when he was, you know, 
the more monstrous Gunther, where now he's more like, I know, he's still a big lad, but he's just trimmed down a bit. But when he was, I don't know, that that's just me, okay. Uh, but either way, like I said, whatever you're up to now, JJ, with the build to SummerSlam is so intriguing, and I cannot wait to see what happens when we get there. I mean, last year was definitely um, one of the best SummerSlams you ever did, but I'm wondering now, will SummerSlam 2024, from your perspective, fantasy booking, be even greater than the original? Because something tells me we've got something I, big. Well, let's find and out. I let's get wait. to I'm, I'm back. I'm I'm biased, but I think it will be. Uh, I will say, by the way, to, to everybody just in general, I feel like these last two shows from you and from JJ, just the storytelling has been fantastic. Like, the, I, I think we're hitting all cylinders on great storytelling and, and kind of matches telling a story, building throughout the night and the main event feeling big, but also building to the next show. I think, uh, I think everybody's doing a great job with that, so... That's really good. Yeah, I would. Um, I, I would agree. Same, same, same to. I know you got. You got. CM Punk as the referee. Uh yeah. And like, uh, yeah. I, I uh, originally it was gonna be basically exactly what you did with Flair, and once you did that, I was like, well, I gotta, I gotta change it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and like Tom, you'll to Tom, and like Tom, you'll get there too. You're just are oh, the foundation building blocks now, so you haven't quite. No, no, I, I, yeah, like, I, you're, I where, said, you're where I was a year ago. You know, I yeah. said, you're I not, said, I, I, I said before, I said before the the first draft. My plan is to get my shit together over the course of the first year, mm -hmm. and then, and and like you know, win nothing at the end of year awards, and then next year, yeah. <clears throat> actually put you guys to the sword yeah well but, i mean i mean the second like, half of this year could be the second half of this year yeah. i i i think i think i've got i think i've got my shit together a hell of a and lot when, when we I say thought, that like i think i think you've had good shows and i think you've i got, i you've started stuff, I, right? I started out <laughs> wanting, wanting to do a bit of a silly a bit, a bit of a silly take the piss and you know i drafted for that i drafted for that you know, like I drafted Viscera, come on, you know, but he's ended up oh. working. I drafted Blue Kane. He's fucking over. You know, I I, I, dra I drafted Nick Wayne on the off chance that AEW would turn him into a star. They haven't yet. I think they will. I drafted Mariah May on the off chance that AEW would turn her into the star, into a star. Thank you very much, AEW. You've, uh, you've, yeah. you've, you've, you've made her the most attractive <laughs> prospect in the world right now yeah, and you made Justin um, you Ross uh, complete his story I, I, I had to I, I wanted to finish the, the Dustin I wanted to finish the Dustin story because like I mean Kim was talking in the chat in the thing earlier Dustin could be leaving AEW potentially back to WWE like Dustin isn't going to get that title that title win in the real like world we need to at some point, I needed. Up, to, I had. I feel to like do at that. some point we need to mock up an image of all three of them with a the belt. Like, uh, <laughs> sure, yes. But anyway, yeah, let's let's get into yeah. some predictions of SummerSlam. So, oh yes. I mean, uh, I, I really feel like. Can you give us a card? Was card? He was on the foundation oh, yes. where I was. Now is he's on. Like, yeah, because I he, he's on the yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he'll 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 get you know he'll he'll get there and we'll all be on even. Yeah putting here so let's get to SummerSlam. uh no particular order but we'll kick off the predictions uh with logan paul versus Sami Zayn. Mm. Uh, he, he i think i think i think i think it makes sense that logan gets a win on this one i mean he's got a storyline sammy hasn't really got anything going apart from the fact that he's just um canadian opponent of the week to reference power rangers a bit <laughs> I, 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 my, my, if I was doing it, Logan would be wrestling a Canadian of the week every week. Mm. For, even, so, to, uh, so, until... to you, so, so to you, this is like the white boy challenge, but it's the Canadian challenge. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> lo, lo, Logan, Logan, or, lo, Logan's thing is he's quote Mister America fighting off the Canadian invaders. So Canadian of the week number one is Sami Zayn. It makes absolutely no sense. It'd be like Day of the Dumpster, Goldar stabs Jason through the head, end of Power Rangers sort of thing. So it doesn't make any sense for Logan to take the loss here. So he's got to be Canadian of the week number one, which is Sami. It's basically like he's doing what Bret Hart would have done, but it's the other way around. 
Well, yeah, essentially, but well, um, he would have done. He didn't do it. But. Logan's Logan's gimmick is quote he's racist against Canadians, and he so Bunch he needs Logan so so forward. he needs to beat a few Canadians. JJ, hear me out. Logan Paul should come out to blame Canada. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, I was I, 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 I thought about song. giving him another oh, song yeah. for tonight, so maybe. Yeah. Oh god, um, I but, always find that hilarious. Yeah, I, 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 for everything. No, but I um, but I will say this: like, I think a real country, anyway. <laughs> yeah, um, it was a, <laughs> a a great sort of starting point for this Logan Paul thing. But I, he's on a string of he's on a losing streak at this point, and he's gone pay per view where he hasn't. He keeps getting these big shots and not winning them. I, you know, he failed to capture the IC title. He's, he's failed to capture it again here. He failed to capture the water. Like he's not had any success. He's just been kind of been there to be to troll Glenn. Uh, <laughs> to, to, uh, like he's just been there to, to, to promise the idea, that, and then he just keeps losing. I feel, and be I feel over with me. Yeah, I feel like he needs to get a win, and I feel like this storyline is this idea of him being the the f- the fake Donald Trump, but he's doing it against Canada. It's such a great kind of. <laughs> <laughs> it touches a nerve of what's going on in America right now without it being too personal because he's doing it against Canada who of America have no problems with. It's like it's not it's not getting political about yeah. it while still parodying Trump, which is a good idea. Um, and I think it's the like it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really good thing you started here. And I think having Zayn beat him here, like I like for the right thing, I could see Sami Zayn being offered particularly my way. To, I think I think this could be Sami Zayn's last night in WWF. Mm. Oh, wow, that's a big prediction. Good well, man. to put this bluntly, I'm going to say this could be a, probably one of the best matches maybe Logan Paul will have, and I think Sami Zayn will be as we always expect him to be the badass underdog that just never quits. You know what I mean? So, and I think if this works out like Carl said, because I'm kind of leading into what he just said and I think that's quite believable so that could also be the case as much as I hate to say it but I will feel like Logan Paul will have the absolute you know bollocks kicked out of him but I think he's going to go over as much as I hate to say that but as long as Sami Zayn goes out like a real hero he can raise his head up high so he might jump ship into the draft again so that's what might happen but still Logan Paul will go over but Sami Zayn is still going to be the man of the match despite losing, quote unquote. You know, it will soften the blow. That's 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 what I'm going to, that's what I'm saying. So, Bradley, do you want to go next? Yeah. So, at first, I was thinking that I'm not good. I mean, I would want to go for Sami Zayn, but after hearing what you guys are saying, I can definitely see Logan Paul going over. But at the same time, Sami looking strong on the way out because. Me and JJ have been talking a little bit on possibly doing some something at the draft, and who knows what's going to happen. That's all I'm going to say. But but you know what? Going back to what Carl was saying, knew. having him yeah, going back to what Carl was saying, having him come out to blame Canada. Why could I see him doing that and coming out in, in the uh, Mountie outfit? <laughs> oh yeah, you've you've got you've, 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 got, to, you've got to dress him up like Jacques Rougeau. You've got to do that. Oh well, no, because he hates Canada. He'll be anti Canada. Maybe maybe I'll do that for Sammy. <laughs> yeah, like no, no, he could, he yeah, but he can't, it. no, he, he, he hates came out Canada. dressed as Hulk Hogan to. Well, yeah, because yeah, he's, he's America. America. That's what I'm saying. He's he's America against Canada. Why would he be dressing up as Canada's police? He should be burning effigies of mounties. I cannot believe. Well, yeah, brother, you remember that game? Got the he way should be beating my generation. JJ should be beat, should draft Jack Rougeau so that he can beat the <laughs> shit out of Jack Rougeau. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I mean, oh, I, I mean, job, job, I, I job, job one-off now. jobbers are allowed. You've been doing your research. <laughs> the Calvary brother, kid is yeah. If you want, if you want to bring in the random kid, if you want to have that, yeah, yeah, absolutely. If you want to bring in the bounty for one match to do that angle, fucking yeah. <laughs> yes. I mean, I, 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 I mean, also, I mean, I mean, like, like, like I was saying, like Canadian of the week, you're gonna run out of Canadians eventually. So, it, use use job as I mean, Christ, I, I had Batman on the show, so you know, yeah, a British <laughs> Batman with two. Yeah, I mean, for crying out loud, we used a freaking a random French <laughs> yeah. call. To Pierre really Dubois. Nice Pierre <laughs> Dubois got a I mean, paper. Yeah. Uh, match number two. 
Okay. So yes, yeah. uh, the next the next match, uh, I question whether I should even let you predict this, but I'll go ahead. Uh, Jay Uso will issue an open challenge. So mm. um, I think I think the best thing it. to do, I would say, the best thing to do on this one is rather than predict result, let's just take a punt on who we think it's going to be. Well, this show is going to be after the draft, so you have the possibility of bringing somebody in. It could this. be it could be anybody yep. from outside, yeah, um, anybody. But if it's going to I, be, I, but I, I, it could be it could be somebody's last night too. But I am going to go with the idea that this is going to blow off the story that you've been telling. Uh, I'm going to say it's Roman Reigns. Whoa, that's a I, big one. I I am going to predict. I'm with Carl on that one. I'm, I'm going to pre- on one. I am going to predict. New signing, and I'm not going to specify. Okay, okay. Something tells me. I think. I think. I think. Mm. He, I think. That, JJ that will, I just. I have a slot I, open for. A I, think, yeah, I, I think. Yeah. I think. I think. JJ will do what. I think JJ will have it be his opportunity to debut somebody new, whether it's someone he drafts, someone he trades. It'll be his. Uh, he'll. He'll. You know. Uh, his opportunity to bring in a new person. Possibly, I'm. That's that's that, that, that's there. that's what I'm. You can put me down for new person. I, I'm someone, someone who doesn't if, currently work for him. I I had to say this, lads. I'm going to be doubly honest. I'm fifty fifty with what Carl and Tom just said. Either it's going to be Roman Reigns, uh, or some way new. From the draft that we've traded in, or something. I mean, it could be that's Jay, possible. but that, I feel like that's the boring option. That just seems too predictable. So well, I just yeah. think that's what it could be. So I'm going to say it could be either one of them. So that's my prediction. I'm 50 50 with those two things. That's I've just, just me, JJ. JJ, I have just private messaged you my who my the name that's in my head. Um, I, had a, I had a feeling. I'm not gonna. Really I'm not gonna. Well, so. But I'm not gonna specify. He's gonna get. He's gonna get Rikishi from WWE. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe. maybe. I um, as, I say, as, as, as I say, as I say, I'm not gonna. Spe- I'm not gonna specify. But I think it'll be. I think JJ will Somebody use it. Somebody knew that I get. To be yeah. honest, that's a, that. To be honest, I've got an open challenge. I'm thinking of doing the same bloody thing. So you know. <laughs> well, our next uh, next match here. It's the dream match that uh, I had to book it now just in case crazy shit happens in the draft. Shawn Michaels versus Eddie Guerrero for the Intercontinental Championship. Oh, my God. I feel like the result of this match... Can I I have this one first? Yeah, go for it. But I'm going to say, I feel like the result of this match is going to depend on if I for these guys get traded. But carry on. on, I I have enjoyed Shawn's run as Intercontinental Champion, but... I think you've done what you need to do now with him. You've done you've not 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 that you need to get rid of him and need to fire him immediately. No, not no that. But I think this reign has done what it can do and I think a run now with Eddie as Intercontinental Champion with Dom with no belt, Rhea with the money in the bank, uh Dom with Having nothing, potentially building a, a jealousy angle, may, maybe even Eddie steals mommy. Sort of, you know, take everything away from Dom. Dom's a Whoa. bit, oh no, I'm losing everything. I haven't got a title. My dad is the Intercontinental Champion. Mommy, at any minute, could be the world champion. What have I got? You know, and Zero. Eddie. Eddie lies and cheats and steals, so steal mommy. Hmm. If Eddie Guerrero, if Eddie Guerrero was alive today in his peak, he'd be all over here. He would, you know it. But it does. I know, obviously, time machine and all that. But it does enter into the creepy factor of how of the age difference. (laughs) Just a little. (laughs) Yeah, but like, like, yeah, but yeah, because the idea that because of the time machine, Eddie Guerrero is in his thirties forever. But he's still Dom's dad. It's the dad nicking his son's girlfriend is a bit weird. Have you have have you never watched pornography in your life? (laughs) <laughs> this is I'll this is the turned. reverse. This is the reverse but, of the stepmom t- angle. He was me thinking. He, he was me thinking that Gwen was actually the, the the messed up one. 
This is this yeah. is the, this this, this, is a, this is I a staple. Yeah. This is a staple porn storyline. Um, yeah, but he's not being vulgar. Yeah, but, yeah, but on, yeah, but on, this quote, is 1999, yeah. and JJ's not Vince Russo. I didn't know I was booking porn. Oh, I thought I was booking. Tom, Russell. let's just pretend well, we never heard I you can, say that, okay? Because I, I do feel a little offended. Oh, bless you, bless you, Glenn. Your, your, oh, sensi- Jeff, your no, sensibilities, no. but you know. It, it, I think I think I I I think Eddie after. take him I think Eddie take him take him mummy is a, is a cool storyline. I know I probably shouldn't have called it the porn storyline, but it <laughs> it worked. I think I I think it works because it potentially sets up for Dom to seek fun. out some you other seek fun. out some other kind of potentially a face turn I'm even. Hey, you know. Cases, if you want. Any cases, Tom, I don't want to dive in, but I'm going to give my thoughts. Either we're going to... Glenn, who do you think is one of the match? It's going to be... It's obviously going to be the first night of the match, I feel, because the ring performance that Shawn Michaels and Guerrero will have, they will tell a grand story for the Intercontinental title, because in reality, Guerrero has held that belt before, so he's no stranger to it, but it's a dream match we've wanted to see. I feel like it should be the, in my opinion, if I was booking the show, I would have put this as my uh, first of a double main event because of the match. Yeah, but don't need the essay. Who do you think's winning? No, but that's just me if I was in JJ's yes, shoes. Yes, but who do you think's winning? Just, just briefly saying, is, if, if, but in any case, is, I feel like Sean's going to have Briefly. The, <laughs> I think Sean's going to have the uh, best performance uh, in a long, long while because it's Eddie Guerrero. Who's winning? I personally feel Sean's going to come within an inch, but Eddie's got something up his sleeve. So I feel like we're going to have a potential title change, and who knows what will happen. But yeah. I have a funny feeling Eddie's going to come out on top, um, on day, and briefly. Sean might be lost in the draft. Okay, hear me out with this one. <laughs> oh, boy. I think the way you get around the whole money in the bank situation is by having it cashed in on the mid-card title. I think we end with Rhea Ripley as the Intercontinental Champion, which would be kind oh. of work because because China, China, China was the first Women's Intercontinental Champion. She's kind of got that China rest thing. She's you in know, the storyline well, with Dom and Eddie. Oh, she, she's she's very much the shades of China. You know what? That's I, think that's what's I wish happen. I'd thought of that. that, that that's That's... Virtually along the same lines, I was uh, I was thinking, you know, if, uh, but yeah, yeah, you wanted her to cash in, you wanted her to cash in money in the dom, uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> like, but I I think that somehow some way, either Eddie steals it or Sean retains just, and mm. then Rhea Ripley cashes in, and we end up with Rhea Ripley as the Intercontinental Champion. Rhea cashing in on Eddie, you've got that ma- you've got that hack male model of Rhea Ripley, and you could use it. Rhea cashing in on Rhea cashing mm. in on Eddie to split the tag team and her and Dom going off in one direction is <laughs> Eddie Guerrero plays the part of Liv Morgan. <laughs> oh yeah, Bradley, <laughs> 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 going on though? Um, personally, I don't know how, what, what you're gonna go through on this, but I see. I'm kind of going on with what Tom and all were saying that Eddie possibly winning the championship and then causing some jealousy on, on Dom's end. But it still has me wondering, where does Rey Mysterio play in all this? Because you haven't even used um, him at all. Since on the, the, on the training pool, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Rey, yeah. <laughs> Rey Mysterio is getting that, uh, getting paid at home. At the yeah. At least you won't be telling him to shoosh. And speaking of which, whatever happened to that that tag team? They've been off the uh, off the map. Recently. They were just on last. They were just on last month, Glenn. They can't be on every show. No, I thought you were going to give them the push. You know, man, because I have I have faith in them. I mean, maybe, <laughs> maybe you just, you got to give it time. Glenn, but I can't, Glenn, be, I can't Glenn, feature everybody on every show. So. Everybody, everybody, you have faith in can't be pushed, or we or we'd be cancelled. Jesus Christ! I mean, it's like I'm, I'm <laughs> getting Glenn, ghost is gone. Sure. Uh, no, right, <laughs> right. So the next the next match for the women's world championship, Bianca Belair will defend in a triple threat match. It'll be Bianca versus Naomi versus Trish Stratus. 
Oh, Whoa. now Naomi got in there somehow. I'm sure that like oh. you said the the storytelling. Well, she won the king. She won the king of the. She ring, did. So. You will connect. Yeah, yeah I'm right, sure that right. we'll connect some dots there. Yeah. Of course, Trish did betray yeah. her. There's a story going on there. I think you're starting out something with Trish, and I think Trish becomes the champ. Yeah, and I, I, I second that. I think I think that uh, SummerSlam is going to be a uh, the night of satisfaction. Well, she, she'll get the uh, women's world championship. But the night. ultimate goal, the idea being Trish versus Charlotte for the door. In any case, is, my my prediction is I feel like in a way, Bianca Belair may not take the fall after all, and it's a triple threat match. She didn't have to be pinned or losing it. So I've got a feeling Trish is going to pin her now, former partner. That's what I think is going to happen in order to rub it in as a humiliation. You know. Well, like, well, bugger me! I'm going to have to be. I'm going to have to be the contrarian, aren't I? I? Whilst whilst I do see the thing of Trish winning, I can't overlook the fact that the woman she's just stabbed, the woman she's just stabbed in the back and the front, is in the match, and that says to that that says to me, Trish tries to win the title. But Naomi causes her to lose, or Naomi causes her to mess ah. up, and I think, and I think Bianca holds on to the title. I do think Trish winning is a better idea, but if it was a straight one-on-one, I'd be saying Trish all day and all night. But <laughs> because it's a triple threat match and Naomi's in there, I can't overlook the fact that Naomi's going to cost Trish the title. So oh, um, oh, we're not we're not overlooking I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just thinking that's what might be happening. But like you said, that could also play. A also, so keep in mind, folks, there's a draft in between this, so that could change everything. Yeah, like we're predicting there's a show, a and like the random wheel could happen, which means somebody might that's get true. injured in one of these matches. Mm-hmm. Like Cena could get, so, could, we could get a wheel that says that Cena has to get injured, and he has yep. to get injured on this night, which John means, C- yeah. which means he has John. to get the belt taken off him. You know? Yep, the wheel could no, make John Cena happen. pregnant. Wait, no, 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 it can't. <laughs> no. I, uh, yeah, no. Yeah, I specified the rules Tom, on this. I mean, it means, no, it means that... You know, it, means, no, it means that I know what he, you've would, been smoking, all, he would somehow have a partner. I know what, I know what it means. It means I his partner is pregnant. But, but, but he would ask a lot of questions leave. as to who the partner is and who did he accidentally lock up, considering his commitment <laughs> issues. I don't think he'd be okay um, with that. But. <laughs> um... You're fired again. You're <laughs> I, 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 anyway, I Bradley, I'm sorry if I fired. told you to shut up on guard. I was just playing around with you, bro. Okay. I know, I know, I know. Next match. Are we, are we all oh, the next? Match? oh, Lord. I think we've all, have we all gone? Have we all predicted? Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> the next, the, no, not quite. The next match, uh, it's for the uh, women's tag team championships. It's the team of Natalia and Shayna against the team of AJ and Liv. Natalia and Shamer, that sounds like a good mixed name. I mean, they both got the whole thing of being in the Queens, so that, that, that there's a good connection there. Um, but some of the, these tag teams are a little like thrown together, but you you may get them all gimmicks and stuff at WrestleMania. Um, yeah, I think I think they just yeah, I think they just won the belts. I don't think they're going to lose them. I think that I think AJ and Liv retain. Something tells me that the um... The Queens of Spades, whether they're going to be named as, might take the champions to the limits, but it's too Oh, that's early a good point. Play. Queen of Spades and Queen of Hearts is like two of the queens of a yeah, card deck. That's that right. Actually makes yeah. a lot of sense, yeah. It does. But it can, can make sense, I guess. Could get two more and form like a four horsemen faction. Yeah. <laughs> like the four, four queens women. or something. Just think about that, JJ. We might have just given you an idea. But either way. I have no idea who the Queen yeah. of Diamonds or the Queen of Spades would be, but. Mm. I just feel like. It's the too early. Yep. yep, that's what Moehead would say. Oh no, in spe- no, um, chain of spades. It will be clubs. Mm, it's one of my favourite bands, man. In case is, um, I'm thinking personally, they're going to be close, but I feel that it's the, the tag terms are going to retain. It's just too early to put the belts off of them. But we might have given you something to think there, Tom, and uh, but JJ in the near future, or if you think about it, maybe. And yes, my dad was one of my favourite bands, Bradley, and uh, Ace, Ace of Spades. Bradley is Tom, any, any thoughts? Yeah, um, I think I think it's you've just taken the tag titles off a long-standing tag team champions. Seems silly to do transitional champions. So 
Liv and uh, AJ hold on to him. Plus now, plus now AJ is a champion. Punk, Punk can uh, nepot- nepotistically book the women's division. You know, um, <laughs> uh, Riley, do you agree with everybody? Yeah, I agree. Uh, AJ and Liv retain. They just want them. But part of me is wondering, I wonder if Punk's going to try to find some way to get himself involved in some of AJ's matches now, since that th- that is his wife. So Maybe no. it's it's a... It's it's hard to work around that. Certainly. Or, or as he uh, or as he would say say quote unquote book her in easy matches. Well, we'll we'll see we'll see what comes of that. Uh, for the uh, men's tag team championships, the Street Profits versus the Hardy Boys, and this is going to be a ladder match. Oh, oh, second potential match of the night now. Oh my god, I'm hmm. torn with my two favorites. This one. I think it's difficult to predict against the Hardys in a ladder match, but I'm not talking about the Hardys twenty years ago. I'm talking about I'm talking about the oldie boys. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm talking about the, I'm, I'm I'm not talking about the Hardy boys. I'm talking about well, the hang elderly on. boys. No, I don't. So, no, hang on. I drafted them as legends. JJ has. Them I mean, they are they are they are the legends. Are they are they the are yeah. they the Hardy boys? Yeah, the I drafted legends? them as mid two thousand. Oh, I I. I, I didn't. Yet, I, I wasn't. I wasn't sure. I they drafted looked, them as that looked, in, the, in the draft last year, and then we traded them. They around. looked. They, they looked a bit knackered. They looked a bit knackered in the match tonight. I thought, but okay. If it's <laughs> the young, if, if it's the young Hardys, then erase everything I just said. Apart from you can't overlook the Hardys in a ladder match. Well, you can because uh, they lost most of those matches to Edge and Christian. <laughs> uh, everybody remembers the spots, but, they never, but they re- other than the first one, they rarely ever won. They also didn't hold their tag titles for very long. I think they're going to be transitional champions. I think they drop them to the Street Profits. I'm so torn between the two because I feel like you did a good job in bringing the Hardy Boys tag team gold. They deserved it, and they should have had a good, decent run when you brought them back. But honestly, the Street Profits have been... So popular. I mean, you pushed it and pushed it with them, JJ, and two. They finally won it at Survivor Series or whatever it was. And then finally they were going to have a good run and then they lost it. So I'm so split. I honestly cannot in my mind up personally. But well, my, mind is, it, my mind is thinking of the Hardy Boys, <laughs> but my heart is telling me the Street Profits. So I think it's wise if the Hardy Boys perhaps put the uh, Street Profits over and they would become two-time tag team champions but it's a ladder match it's in the hardy boys um alley they're very experienced with it but something tells me it could work so that's all i can say uh, me personally i see I, I mean this is the hardy boys and their elements so i mean yeah i know they lost a majority of the t- of the ladder matches but but those are matches they lost they had it was either triple threat ladder matches or fatal four-way ladder matches but straight two on two a ladder match that they pretty much want it so i can see i see hardy boys retaining all right and finally in the main event it's cody rhodes versus john cena the rematch from wrestlemania mm. um Cody is your ultimate baby face, uh, and you've instead of giving him the long title reign, you've obviously doing this thing where uh, he, he's continually he's getting screwed out of the title, he's continually chasing, he's continually chasing. Um, but I do think that the ultimate feud is with Punk, and I don't think that you're ready to change to Jess and this John Cena experiment yet. So I think we get a Drew McIntyre situation. I think somehow CM Punk costs Cody Rhodes the championship match, and I think Cena retains. Mm. Oh. I'm somewhat agreeing with what Carl's saying, but it's too early before the draft to really decide what's really going to happen. But at the end of the night, I can, as of right now, I see, uh, I see Cena still retaining as much as I hate to say it, and him still going down this hill, rocky road that he's going down. If you want my personal thoughts, oh God. As much as I keep thinking it's like it's real because it's so well done, JJ, and the way how I'm acting towards Cena, which is kind of how I should have been in reality, 
let's just say I feel like each time he's getting closer and closer of losing, but he somehow manages to slip through the net and retain his title come what may. But I do feel that Cody somehow is going to become a three-time WWF champion. But Cena's going to make him look more than he is capable of doing. Like We could see a much more darker, thicker Cena than we've seen now, but even more than what we've seen. So I feel like Cody's going to, like as we always see, get the American shit out of him. It's going to be bleeding buckets at the end of the match. But something tells me he's going to pull it off and give Cena a taste of his own medicine of what he should have given him at WrestleMania and whatnot. So I feel like potential title change and I feel like Cody's going to intentionally, because that draft's coming up, I think Cody's going to try and intentionally cripple Cena and put him on the sideline oh, saying that I was the one that did, you know, that took the 17 oh, time on the shelf. That's how far I'm going with this because it's so personal between these two. So... Three-time champion, Cody walking out at SummerSlam to end the summer. That's what I'm viewing it as, JJ. It is absolutely not time for Cena to lose that title. This this reign as Mr. 17 has got far more legs in it. I love Cody. Want him to be champion forever. Would very much like would very much like both world champions to be in 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 that match at Forbidden Door if we do it, but um, I don't think it's going to happen because I think Cena's still going to be the champion then. So I think Cena is the champ. I, I I honestly think Cena's the champion for like a Roman Reigns length reign. Per, I really perhaps do. I think. SummerSlam is going to be his biggest challenge to date, that's for sure. And mm -hmm. with that, we will catch you all for SummerSlam.